I'm going to go through a real quick case history. We had a gentleman come into us, 54-year-old male with triglycerides at 3,395, or they should be less than 100. Cholesterol is 625, or it should be less than 200. His HDL was very low at 33. Uh, the good cholesterol is very low. The LDL, the bad cholesterol, couldn't even be tested because it was so high. The ratio between cholesterol and the HDL should be less than 5. His was 18.94. His blood sugar was in the diabetic range at 367, and uh, his ferritin was very, very high. So he went in to us to get this, uh, these tests done. And then before he came to the seminar, he had an appointment with his doctor. And rather than getting stuck again, he asked if he could pick up the um, blood work so he could take to his doctor so he didn't have to get new blood. We said yes. So he took him to his doctor. And his doctor saw these results, and he almost fell off his chair. Um, but his doctor said, well, look, first we have to do a retest because I don't believe these numbers. He did a retest, and they were identical. They were, the triglycerides were over 3,000. The cholesterol was over 600. So his doctor starts writing a prescription pad as fast as he can. He says, uh, because of the high triglycerides, I want you to go on a low-fat diet. Because of the cholesterol, I want you to go on a low-cholesterol diet. And then I'm going to write your prescription for Lipitor, the statin drug to control triglycerides and cholesterol. And I want you to be on uh, glucophage and glucotrol also. These are drugs for the uh, diabetes that you have. And he wrote out three or four more prescriptions. So all of a sudden, this guy has a fistful of prescriptions, and he really wanted to come in through this program and try to do things naturally. He said, well, Doc, I'd, I'll do this if it doesn't work, but I'm going to try this body chem program. Well, I've already paid for this. And if it doesn't work in a month, I'll come back and do these medications. The doctor said, you're a dead guy if you walk out of here without these medications. He said, I'll see you in a month. So he came back to us, and our recommendations for the same blood chemistry abnormalities were slightly different. Where the doctor said to uh, go on a low-fat diet for those high triglycerides, we told him to go on a high-fat diet. I said, you can do a high-fat and high-protein diet. Where the doctor told him to go on a low-cholesterol diet for the high-cholesterol, we told him to go on a high-cholesterol diet. I told him he could eat 30 eggs a day if he wanted to. And this guy liked eggs, so he started eating nine eggs a day. But we told him to go on a no-sugar and a low-carbohydrate diet. And he had weight to lose, so we suggested doing a modification of the Atkins diet, uh, no sugar, low carb, and no dairy at all. And we recommended our Niacol formula, our Colex formula, and a whole bunch of other vitamins and minerals. And then he came back a month later after being on the diet and the supplements, and then here with his follow-up blood chemistry. Just like you'll get a blood chemistry in a month, coming through the program the first time, he did too. And after 28 days on our program of the diet and the vitamins, his triglycerides, and this is without medications, his triglycerides were 33.95. They came down to 149. His cholesterol was 625. He started eating nine eggs a day. It dropped to 170. The good cholesterol came up to normal. The bad cholesterol came down to normal. His risk factor dropped from 18.94 to a 4.25. His blood sugar dropped 200 points. His ferritin was cut in half. As a side effect, he lost 33 pounds in 28 days. This guy had a lot of weight to lose. After a year, he had lost 80 pounds. Channel 10 did a story on him. And he's still doing fine eating lots of eggs, and his cholesterol is normal. Eggs don't cause high cholesterol. Eggs and butter and other high cholesterol foods. It would be very hard for you to forget about that because I keep running into people 10 years later and say, well, I don't want to eat too many eggs because it might cause high cholesterol. But to find out what foods do cause high cholesterol, we look at the laboratories that produce the statin drugs like Lipitor and Zocor and Provacol and Crestor because these laboratories have to test those drugs on animals before they test it on us. Guinea pigs, they test on real guinea pigs. The trouble they run into, these laboratory animals have a normal cholesterol. They don't have, rats don't have a high cholesterol. So how are you going to test a drug on, on laboratory animals that don't have a high cholesterol in the first place? Well, the answer is you have to induce high cholesterol in these animals. I imagine at first they fed them lots of butter, lots of eggs, and that wasn't working. So finally, they found out what did work, and they got so excited when they found out what did work, they published it in scientific papers. One of the early ones was in the Journal of Laboratory and Animal Science, Work done by Merck Pharmaceuticals, by the way, that makes Zocor and Mevacor. And the abstract there says that several investigators, not just them, have reported that feeding a semi-synthetic diet of casein from skim milk and dextrose, which is sugar, to New Zealand white rabbits will increase the total serum cholesterol concentration, principally through an increase in the bad fraction, thereby creating a useful model for atherosclerosis research. You can't raise laboratory animals' cholesterol by giving them eggs and butter. Give them sugar and dairy. Later in the report, it even says one example of dietary manipulation is the use of a semi-purified cholesterol-free diet of sugar and dairy. Raise the blood lipids and the high cholesterol. Dairy and the sugar are what really causes high cholesterol and high triglycerides. And study after study after study show the same thing. Uh, soy protein diet lowers cholesterol. Casein raises it. Journal atherosclerosis. Not eggs and butter, but cholesterol-free diets of sugar like dextrose and casein raise the total cholesterol and LDL in rats, rabbits, monkeys, mice, and humans, but they leave off the human part. They don't tell you, and they don't tell your doctor. 
Why do you think that is? Money. In the year 2000, Lipitor made over $4 billion on its own. Last year, all the statin drugs together made over $19 billion, which is over $52 million a day. Since dietary cholesterol does not significantly influence serum cholesterol, we want you to use butter in place of all margarines. Butter is better, tastes better. There's nothing wrong with butter. Some margarines still have even the trans fatty acids that raise the bad cholesterol and lower the good. Promise me you'll never use promise. Use whole eggs, not just the whites. The yolks actually have a lot of nutrients in them. And stay away from egg beaters. I've got a picture of a rack grown in egg beaters, and it's not a pretty sight.